Kenwood's DMX 7706S is an impressive double DIN stereo that has everything you need in a modern receiver. This double DIN digital media receiver has built in Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, plus showcases an incredibly short chassis of just two and 15 16 inches in depth, making installations a breeze with this head unit. It's incredibly similar to the DMX 706S, like they look exactly alike, but the DMX 706 is in Kenwood's Exelon line, meaning it's made with higher quality components for improved audio performance. Keep watching this video for the stereo's full testing in just a few minutes. Inside the box is a radio trim, wiring harness, external microphone for hands-free calling, parking brake extension, mounting hardware, warranty card, instruction manual, and double DIN digital media receiver. The rear connections of the DMX 7706S include 3.5 millimeter audio video output, three sets of four volt preamp outputs for front to rear and subwoofer, Bluetooth microphone, front camera, backup camera, video output, video input, 3.5 millimeter audio input, Sirius XM input, iDialing Maestro, wiring harness for power ground and speaker, plus pigtails for radio antenna, and USB. The boot time is pretty quick at just 10 seconds. The DMX 7706S features a 6.95 inch WVGA clear resistive touchscreen display. Two major mistakes made by Kenwood here. It's not capacitive or HD, but the price tag is under $400, so I think Kenwood thought they could get away with it. It has a resolution of 800 by 480 pixels. Kenwood has discontinued its partnership with Weblink, which provided very slow and choppy versions of YouTube, Waze, and other apps like Yelp. Over the last few years, Kenwood has gone back and forth with putting a 3.5 millimeter audio video jack on their head units. With this model, they've decided to opt for an RCA video input as well as a 3.5 millimeter audio input jack. RCA AV red, yellow, and white inputs would be a little easier. This does make mirroring to the RCA video inputs easy, but you'll have to use Bluetooth for audio or use an RCA audio to 3.5 millimeter adapter jack with our mirroring kits. I'll put links to the screen mirroring kits for both iOS and Android devices below in the video bio. Since this is a digital media receiver, the depth of the chassis comes in at just under three inches. This means no disc slot, so no CD or DVD playback. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are two of the hottest features for car stereos today, and I'm sure we all know what these two do. We've been over them a hundred times. Video apps do not transfer. The DMX 7706S does not have wireless Apple CarPlay or wireless Android Auto. You must use the USB cable connection to access both at all times, and you can't update your stereo to get wireless. Both charge your device at the same time during use. Okay, let's test this head unit out for ourselves and see what it can do for power. Our first test was frequency response using the preamp outputs, and it was relatively flat with a slight dip past 10,000 Hertz, but hits plus minus three dB specification. Next, we'll test the internal amplifier with two channels driven at four ohms, 40 Hertz, 14.33 volts, flat EQ, flat crossovers. The waveform was clean at volume 29, our SMD picked up 17 watts RMS, 9.35 volts of output on the Lumi, while drawing 5.07 amps of current, and 21.81 watts RMS on our HP A903B audio analyzer, with 3.36% distortion. Going down to volume 28, distortion dropped to 0.07%, and the output dipped to 14.67 watts. Two channels driven at 4 ohms, 1 kilohertz, 14.34 volts. The waveform was clean at volume 29. Our SMD read 15 watts RMS, 9.49 volts of output on the Lumi, while drawing 4.98 amps of current, 
and 22.47 watts RMS on our HP with 4.11% distortion. Going down to volume 28, distortion dropped to 0.99% and the output dipped to 15.29 watts. Single channel driven at 4 ohms, 1 kilohertz, 14.34 volts. The waveform was clean at volume 29. Our SMD read 16 watts RMS, 9.56 volts of output on the Lumi while drawing 2.99 amps of current and 22.9 watts RMS on our HP with 3.28% distortion. Going down to volume 28, distortion dropped to 0.97% and the output dipped to 15.29 watts. Single channel driven at 4 ohms, 40 hertz, 14.34 volts. The waveform was clean at volume 29. Our SMD read 18 watts RMS, 9.42 volts of output on the Lumi while drawing 3.05 amps of current and 22.23 watts RMS on our HP with 2.48% distortion. Going down to volume 28, distortion dropped to 0.36% and the output dipped to 14.67 watts. Our final test was on the RCA preamp outputs. Full volume, flat EQ, no source gain, which peaked at 3.4 volts at both 40 hertz and one kilohertz, less than 0.1% distortion. This stereo does not have HD radio. Bluetooth will allow hands-free calling plus streams your music wirelessly from your phone with music tags. Connecting to the USB port with your phone enables music and app audio playback as well as charges your device. The USB port connection provides album artwork onto the home screen in either Spotify, Pandora, or iPod source. You can also link it with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Wireless album artwork is possible via Bluetooth, but not in the Bluetooth source. You must be connected via Bluetooth and streaming wirelessly, but select the Spotify, Pandora, or iPod source for the album arts to come up. It's unorthodox, but it works. The stereo does not have built-in nav, but I prefer Google Maps with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay anyways. Expand the radio even further with the iDanling Maestro RR for a seamless interface with your factory system for features like climate control, engine codes, tire pressure, gauges, satellite radio, USB, radar, and parking assist. The DMX7706S has dual camera inputs for front and back, plus features adjustable rear parking guidelines. The stereo is Sirius XM ready with the SXV 300V1 Universal Tuner and steering wheel control ready with the Axis ASWC1 interface. Links for both of those in the video bio below. Using a USB thumb drive, the stereo is compatible with MP3, WMA, AAC, WAV, and FLAC audio files. For video, it plays MPEG-1, MPEG-2, MPEG-4, H.264, MKV, and WMV files. You can also upload and view JPEG images. Customize your DMX7706 with several preset wallpapers or upload your own. Plus, set the button color illumination. Kenwood puts you in full control of the audio with several settings. I think this is a very interesting stereo, although I think it should be cheaper because there are things that Kenwood missed out on. An HD display with a capacitive touchscreen would make this stereo fly off the shelves. No wireless Apple CarPlay or wireless Android Auto, which are really in demand right now. No HD radio. And finally, no RCA audio inputs to accommodate the RCA video inputs. Just that 3.5 millimeter audio input jack. 
Be sure to go to qualitymobilevideo.com to get all of your car audio and video gear with us today. Links for everything in the bio below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button. But if you hated it, click the dislike button. Join the conversation below and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Thanks for watching.